As these fragments unite, a portal gives way to the world of Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past. During your quest, the map will expand as you discover new islands. One such stretch of land appears to be mostly empty, except for one young inhabitant named Kerry. This island is known as the Haven, and Kerry will ask you to invite reformed monsters to come live there. These monsters can be found all over, and often stand out. Take this guy. Anything fishy gooing on with him? Based on his odd manner of speaking, it seems this man was once a slime. If you help reformed monsters like him live a peaceful life, you can convince them to move to the Haven. There they'll give you a traveler's tablet that unlocks a small dungeon featuring that particular monster. As more move to the island, the town will expand to include houses for former monsters and other establishments like the download bar. Here you can access free online distributions for your game, including over 50 traveler's tablets with rewards for completion. It's also home to a secret casino where you'll earn in-game prizes in games of chance, plus a tower called the Safe House. Monsters acquired via the Street Pass feature can be sent there for safekeeping. Finally, the plinth allows you to warp to additional dungeons right from the Haven. These dungeons are not randomly generated, unlike those earned in Monster Meadows. Additional information on sending and receiving Traveler's Tablets will be talked about in a future episode. We'll take a look at Monster Meadows and much more about Dragon Quest VII as we approach the game's launch on September 16th.